Um, so you've been consuming too much saturated retro Japanese media on Crunchyroll.com, not sponsored, and now you're creatively constipated. Luckily, there's a genre of aesthetic dance music that not only makes your feet move, but also your bowels. So today, we're gonna learn... One of the core elements of Future Funk is a retro Japanese sample from the 1980s to set the tone for... Step 1. Aesthetic, but also visual. Oh, cool! We found one. Now sample it and chop it up into into catchy little loops. Next, you'll need to capture some banger house drums. You can usually find these around your house. You just kind of have to walk around and- Now that we used up half our production budget, just get a roomy snare and a hi-hat from Splice. Next thing you're gonna need is a filthy, thick, stomach-churning bass lick. So get a dog and some peanut butter and... Those are, those are some crazy bass licks. You're so talented. Lastly, you're gonna need some vintage sound effects from a time when you were happy on paper and things were simpler, theoretically. You know, things like PlayStation 1 sound effects. Nostalgia, mm, it's seeping through my body. Mm. Smash Bros. 64 announcer. Three, two, one, go, 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 Ah, yes, the beautiful sound of the early internet. <laughs> now that you have all your sounds, you can finally move forward to step two arrangement. This is where you put it all together, starting with the drums to set the pace, which can be as easy as one, two, zero. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say one, two, three, but I subverted your expectations. <laughs> Now we're gonna structure all of these parts together in order to make a full song. First, you wanna start off with an intro. This one's gonna be four bars and it's gonna build into the next section. Then you're gonna go into your section B, a 16 bar part which acts kind of like a verse and it gives your song groove. Then you're gonna go back to your A section, but this time it's not an intro. It's a 16 bar chorus catchy part of your song. That's what you need. Then you're gonna move on to section C. This is acting like a bridge. It gives your song new dynamics, new textures, new flavor. Next, you're gonna go back to B section, 16 bars, it's the verse, it's the groove, you know all about it. Finally, you're gonna end with section A, which is kind of like your, your chorus, you know, your hook, but this time it's gonna be an outro, eight bars, and it's uh, still catchy. So now you have the full song, but it's still not there yet. It's lacking something, it's unfulfilled, it's lacking feeling. <sighs> Now, you need to process these samples into something that inspires feeling and movement, but, 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 but... How do you process funk from the past when you get the gut feeling that you're stuck? If I had to guess, I'd guess that it starts with a chain of events, beginning with the harsh realization that you have to cut out dissonant frequencies from your mix. Enough to give yourself the silence necessary to listen.
You can then filter out the noise and focus, really hearing the highs and understanding the lows. Adding space between your stimuli and delaying your impulses. Then you begin to understand balance until you slowly open yourself up to hear the full spectrum now with renewed perspective accepting that although you might move through your past funk there will always be a future funk to dance with funk is making way for a future funk to dance with. So let your bowels move, four to the bathroom floor style, because now you're ready to... Step four, push your music. Great, now just export your track. <sighs> and then schedule a release on Spotify, upload a canvas, post on TikTok 30 times a month, chill your song on Twitter, pitch to playlists, spam email your tribe, sell merch, schedule content rollout, why blush, and start working on the next drop. Surprise. Surprise! Music out now on all streaming platforms and also not sponsored shirts on sale for seven days only. Available in two colors, Pepto Pink, not sponsored, and Bismol Black, also not sponsored. Links in the description. Have fun. I hope you like this content. Subscribe if you if you uh, if you want to have fun in your life. If you and then we cut in in post, and then everything's fine. <laughs> Sick. This is gonna be the funniest fucking clip. I ever. think we got it. It's